And welcome to your Go Market update charts of interest for today, Monday, the 13th of February. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. And of course, we hope you had a great weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news right now. Of course, on Friday, we saw the US markets finished mixed, but generally higher on to end a choppy week. As US markets look to really be a bit bias shy, we've hit key levels and then just pull back from those. In terms of earnings, we've had 70% of the S&P 500 reported with 69% beating expected EPS. Of course, we've got more of those this week and the major headline act of the week is tomorrow night in the US where we get the inflation data out. And of course, we've had more shoot down news over the fourth um, object that's been shot down from the skies of late and that's starting to twitch Congress out and maybe be part of where the markets are for today. We are seeing U.S. futures mildly negative in early Asian trading and Asian indices are ignoring that positive U.S. lead from Friday and are down right across the board ahead of an important week. Particularly the Chinese markets are suffering a little bit today on open. The ASX is around about 0.25% lower, slightly off its lows, but not looking as though it's going anywhere very fast. And we are expecting a fairly neutral open when the European markets open later. The VIX edged above a key 20 level at the back end of last week and is sitting around 21 at the moment, just suggesting the market is starting to get a little twitchy perhaps prior to that important inflation number. US dollar index has been pausing at the top of the range really all of last week and it look as though it's testing it this morning in Asia, which is interesting and certainly one of the strongest currencies around today. Against most crosses, the USD is up. A gold is still testing that 1860 support after dropping back uh, to test it on Thursday and copper is holding the $4 key level at this stage. If the US dollar gets much stronger, we might see those two pop through the key levels. Oil is moving towards the top of the medium term range. However, again in Asia, it looks a little weaker than it did on Friday. Bitcoin sold off last week fairly significantly, but it did pause on Friday. Be interesting to see where to next for cryptos. And of course, earnings season continues, as we've already said. Virtually no data today of any interest, apart from if you're in the Swissy, as Switzerland do release their CPI data. Uh, markets are eyeing that CPI number out of the US tomorrow. That's really where we're at today, I think. Uh, and hence, I'm not sure that there will be much buoyancy in markets today. I think we'll just get that cautious vibe continuing. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, we're going to start in the ASX with Austral Limited, ticker code ASB. You can see a really nice bounce off support last week and pushed it really back up to a key level. If we just take this out a bit, uh, you can see this significant move higher has pushed us up over 180 and it looks as though $2 may be on the cards on this, which is about 15 cents up from where we are now, which if it makes it would be a very healthy 8.7% move up from current price. Uh, so that does look as though it's continuing buying pressure in this. Uh, on the FX world, uh, despite the USD strength, we're actually choosing the Canadian dollar as something interesting to have a look at. You can see it against the yen on the daily chart. It is trading towards the top of a range that's been in place really since the middle of December when we saw this drop through. Uh, there's a move possibly up to 100 here. If we just look at the hourly chart, you can see we are pushing, pushing against this level at 98.66, possibly give it around about another 10 pips up to the upside to 98.73. That looks technically important. And as I said, if we get through this, it's about 125 pips up to uh, the 100 level. That's interest worth keeping an eye on as the day progresses. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.